I guess I'll sleep at the end. This is Golden Sun. I'm about to beat the game. I'm like not that far away from game from completion. Uh, let's go ahead and put on Dao's. You can get a lot of synergy before you get the gems if you use if you abuse the classes. Like some naturally have things like um, uh, Dao's or Frost or you know that grow one. Some are locked though. Some you actually have to get like the storyline like item. Like you can't turn invisible till you get the item that lets you turn invisible. I think. Not even if you become a ninja. Yes, suffocates. That item is so good. It was so expensive, but it's just kind of weird how like it it has a, even if it if it procs, it has a random chance of causing an instant kill. I've already killed a boss harder than the game's last boss, so like, I don't know. <laughs> I'm coasting now. Drowned. It wasn't the strongest weapon I could have bought, but it was the most expensive weapon I could have bought, and I knew there would be something to it, but I wasn't expecting that. No giant tornado chased me. Oh no, a single acid maggot. Later. Have fun at work. Alright, where do I go now? I've got... I can do a little bit using the carry gem in Venus, and I think I have to. I think I have to choose a path in Venus. There's two paths, and um, which path you take affects your drops. And I low-key kind of want to do both paths. There's like two entirely different routes that both lead to the same final destination. I've actually gotten a lot stronger, mostly because my gear is a lot better. These enemies were really hard last time I was here. Now I'm like two turning or one, one turning them. How'd that thing live? It's poisoned and everything. Alright, so now I can carry this off the edge. There is a like 30 minute cutscene that happens here. In uh, Golden Sun 2. Alright, so that opened the left path. Game volume's disabled because I'm holding super speed button literally non-stop. So I can't actually get into the full Venus Lighthouse right now. You might call it the final dungeon of the game. But we've done what we can of it. Alright, we can do something here now. This was unavailable earlier. Carry is kind of good. Lucky Pepper. That raises my proc chance, which is best on Mia because she's got one hit KOs on her proc. I tried to run away and it didn't work. And did I get haunted? I should always kill the enemy that can haunt me. Which is this little fucker. Is anyone haunted? Just cursed. I can live with curse. Wait, I can go down. Alright. 
So this is lit up, which indicates that I have two paths I can take. And I got the left one. Hmm. That looks good. So there's a part where I can go right or down, and I want to go down. Huh. That was wrong. There we go. Now we got Ivan's Rowind. It had two on it, no wonder it looked so strange. Puzzling. We puzzle good. Puzzle boys. What a puzzle. Who knew there would be a door here? A wild griffin. Ooh. This looks fun. Theory. Put one on here. Why does it give you three? That makes me nervous right off the bat. Hello. What's your gimmick, bitch? I tried to read its mind. Ooh, it's a chest. Got an oracle's robe. That's our loot for coming down this path. Only me I can equip it, and it's kind of good. So who else can equip the storm gear? We've got all the best gear in the game. Oh, this is the puzzle. You have to read their minds. I think this is the final room for both paths. Yeah. So let's take the other route. This is kind of slow, but you know, we're here to enjoy ourselves, right? Why did I have to cast retreat twice? There's still more of this dungeon that I can come and do. But I have to go in through the bottom. The dungeons in this game are just great. This game is just great. I have nothing bad to say about it. Everything bad I said about it, I was just being mean. I was just bullying this game. Alright, swap your path, bitch. There we go. So now we got an offshoot path to the right. Yeah, there's like enemy drop items that are like really good. I kind of like when games do that, but I kind of hate when games do that. Like the best gear in the game will be like an enemy drop item that's kind of rare. Alright, here we are again. On our own. Going down the only road we've ever known. Like a drifter we were born to walk alone. These things are tough. I've like status the fuck out of them too. And I'm poisoned. Venom. Alright, it was fully optional to do this twice. 
But I did, baby. My stats are good. This thing was defending. Took like no damage there. The final destination is the um, lighthouse. Regardless of which route you take, you can see that. Alright, so now we go down here. We will have an offshoot path to our right. Well, this is strange. Not much of a puzzle. Probably a setup for later puzzles. Aha! I need to douse it. So here's our offshoot path to the right. Probably. Probably cast reveal again. Fuck. I got a battle. It recovered. I'm gonna waste my time. And that cancelled my fucking reveal. Assure is armor. So we got an armor for both paths. It's good. I mean, it's really good. It races my attack. It makes me slower. Which gives me mixed feelings. The speed would be nice on Mia. I don't know. I'm just going to leave it. Ninja Gear is kind of outclassed now. Imagine if you didn't go to the right there. Huh. Oh, I get it. This is actually a very cool puzzle. Can I move from here? Yeah. This is actually a really cool puzzle. <laughs> this is very clever. This is an intelligent ass puzzle. So I have to douse it from here. And then I have to go up here. And I have to frost it. That's really cool. That combo. That's all. Now we're back. Yellow shines northeast of me. So this is either in the bottom left or the middle. And this is either in the middle or the top right. What we got? Violet shines southeast of me. This is either in the top left or the middle. And this is either in the bottom right. By the middle. Red shines northwest. Yep. Yep. Oh, that's not true. Setu seems to speak to your soul. That's your clue to me read its mind. So this should say something along the lines of green is southwest or yellow is southwest. Red shines due west. Yep. Alright, so that was a fairly simple puzzle. In fact, if I started with the water one, there's pretty much only... No, there's just still two places it can be. But the water one still would have been helpful to start with. Because then I would have had the southeast, which would have made it so the blue one has to be in the top right. And that would have simplified things a bit. Actually, only a bit, though. Alright. Venus Lighthouse. We're in, baby. So this is the fast way out that you can get. Does that stay active? No. Did I mention there's a 30 minute cutscene there in the next game? Alright, everyone's stats are looking pretty good. What we got? We're in the final dungeon of the three part final dungeon. We're in like step three of three. We've got all our gin. We've got our toughest enemies. We've got our best gear. Show me the last boss and I'll kick his ass. Okay, that's kind of cool. Can't do anything here yet. Mm -hmm. This place is the Venus Lighthouse, so Isaac is constantly powered up here. And also he recovers MP every turn. 
your two casters, your two healers, um, constantly restore MP in the two dungeons in this game. Quite obviously deliberate. Huh. Thunder what? Thunder Crown, it's cursed. So I guess I could give that to my cursed ass motherfucker. Boost with power critical hits. That's hard to get rid of. I just ignore it. That's a lizard mage. Wasn't that a tough enemy? No. There were thunder lizards, but yeah, there were two thunder lizards during one of those hard battles on the island. All right. Five enemies at once. Jump puzzle. I guessed right. Well, seems fairly simple. Must be an introduction to a puzzle I'm going to be doing later. So now we've swapped over all the fucking sand. So there's a lot of new places we can go. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think you can actually go this way. And there was... No, this is still blocked off. I've been hanging on with one. Good shit, Ivan. He actually has a lot of HP now. It's because he's always... Um, I, got, I, got, I got a false impression of how low his HP is in the... Um, yeah, this is still shot. Is this really shot? Can I not go back here somewhere? I got a false impression of how low his HP is. Um, oh, that's where I, I fall down to. I get it if I like accidentally die. If I get pulled down there. Uh, when I wasn't equipping a bunch of gin. These are some powerful ass spells. Okay. God help, Isaac. Can't do anything new here, right? Yeah. So I had a lot of different paths I saw, but I think I only have basically... It's like more linear than it looks. Which I appreciate, to be honest, because I don't like being lost. This looks like it's a hard puzzle, but it's really not. There's a door. I'm closing up real close to endgame right now. When your potent cure doesn't quite heal them fully. Okay. Took me all of five seconds to solve this. That was not the direction I wanted to move it. I'm good at this sort of puzzle too. Oh. I'm good at puzzles in general to be honest.
Dragon scales. Still getting new gear. That's decent defense. Resists water and fire. I want to go up. I want to see what's up here. Fucking nothing. I'm glad to know. I would have wondered what that was forever if I didn't backtrack. Um. Huh. I can't actually get across here by pushing one of those ones up. Why are there three? You don't need three to solve this. It makes me nervous that there's three. I wonder if that'll stay down. Probably not. Button. Alright, so this has been very linear, to be honest. Not necessarily in a bad way. It's making me feel good that I'm not missing anything. That's the truth. Okay, you can just jump across that. Cool. So now I can go here. The battles are, like, kind of easy, but, like, refreshing. Oh, we got a current puzzle. Alright, let's go. I want that treasure. Okay, how do I... Okay, I see. I want to go... Huh? Okay. Got a Gaia Blade. I think this is um, Isaac specific, and I think it's fucking strong. Unleashes Titan Blade. Not Isaac specific. Can I even equip this, or is this unique to you? Crystal rod. He can. And then she can equip the um, righteous mace. Alright, everyone's like geared out pretty well. There we go. Can't do anything here yet. Titan Blade looked cool. <laughs> Mother Gaia. I don't think any enemy in the game uses Grand Gaia on you. Again, you get it. I'm like level 28 and fixing to come up to the last boss. And Grand Gaia you get in your 50s. Okay, now we got a puzzle. So first of all, all we have to do is figure out whether it's going on the right or the left. It can go on the right. It has to... Okay, that that one needs to come down no matter what. Okay. This one's position is super obvious. It also, like, we don't know where it's going yet. It doesn't affect anything. But it needs to get pushed down no matter what. Seems like an adequate place for it. Then we can either do, this needs a down right, and then this needs a down, yup, can't go on the left path. So we know this is true. And then we need... This one requires a straight, which I don't have. So it's got to go this way. And because there's only one route it can take, all the pieces are super obvious. Brute force that one with trial and error. I just follow each of the three paths. Oh, this is odd. Oh, there's one in the, there's a place to leave in the center. That's kind of cool. So I'm going to the top right. Damn, Titan Blade is a cool skill. Powerful, too. Uh, 
I think we're I think we're getting there, man. Oh yeah, we're close. We are definitely close. Damn it, a battle right then. That's annoying. Please don't have serious damage to me. That's just a bit annoying. I mean, it's just down a little bit of MP. Oh. Right, this takes me to the top. This is where the last boss happens. The second beacon lit, only two will remain. Lighting at Jupiter is virtually the same as lighting Mars. Yidejima. Got like a Japanese name. Sheba. They needed Sheba. I don't know if they have ever actually mentioned this. They needed Sheba to use Reveal or something. They needed a Wind Adept to get through a certain area. And they're just two Mars ones. So they abducted her. And then Felix is a uh, Earth one. And Alex is a Water one. So theoretically they had everyone they needed. But Satoris and Minardi have been mostly traveling just by their own brute force. That was not even good, to be honest. I remember being very un unimpressed by her in battle. She's like the fastest character in both games, and then she has... I'm taking Sheba to the ship. He's disobeying them. I won't leave Sheba here to find out. He's disobeying them. I wonder if um, Felix is like level 1 right now. Yes. A good place to get my last save in. Let's do this. What up, bitch? Sotaris and Minardi are the last boss. This is literally just for, like, storyline reasons. Perhaps. She read my mind. We do, in fact, have the the shaman's rod. They're just going to try and kill me, I think. You give us the shaman's rod, so it will not be harmed. I already know they end up with the shaman's rod, so...
This is just an excuse for the second team in Golden Sun Lost Age to have the Shaman's Rod because they needed a reason for them to have it. Because, um, you know, different party, but same requirements. I wonder what they initially planned when this was all supposed to be one long game, if you would just get eight party members over the course of the game. That's what happens in Dark Dawn. Oops, they lied. Why don't I just kill them? Hello? I'll take you both. I'm strong. Here we go. Sotoros and Minardi. This is a pretty hard fight. It's made a lot easier by the fact that if you kill one, the fight becomes really easy. Um, I do want to... If I were using Jin, it would be good. If I was using Flash every other turn, it would be helpful. I think I don't need to do that. I think I can just, like... Do my thing. That did quite a lot of damage. I think I can just use attacks to win this fight without too much trouble. Their fire, so that's going to do like nothing. Might as well set it. Potent cure, 300 HP. That's kind of annoying. Give me that high impact. Yeah, give me that power. I don't care about your resist. I don't need to do that yet. Haunt. Evil spirit. Why can they curse me? That's annoying. That's I'm going to be dealing with that for the rest of the um, fight. That I can't make that go away. That's very annoying. There's no cure for that that I have. Oh my god, Ivan. That's annoying. I have a lot of MP on um, my protag, so it's okay. Minardi is the fastest character. Oh, she's dead. Minardi is the fastest character in the entire game in terms of speed. Of every single enemy in this game, Minardi is fucking fast. That delusion. Heat flash. Do you want to stop? I think the procs can't miss. Which is something. Poison cloud. That was a lot of damage. I like how all the out all the gear not all the gear, but all the weapons show up on your actual characters. All right, so I just killed the last boss, question mark? We beat him. All right, slit their fucking throats, trust me. Just stab them in the fucking necks. Execute. Try and stop me, I'll fight you. Fuck off. Hmm. 
this. Oh shit. Oops, we're all a bunch of retards. Share a symbiotic relationship. It's just an ass pull, honestly. Fire Clan of the North. You actually visit that place in the second game. Come on, Sheba. Here we go, baby. Actual last boss. They're fusing. I love this. It gets so big it breaks your GBA screen. I remember laughing at that when I was a kid. Fusion Dragon is the actual last boss of this game. He's kind of tough. And I'm cursed from that last fight, which is super, super obnoxious. I think this is still considered to be a fire elemental enemy. He has the most HP of any enemy in the game after Deadbeard. I forget how much. It's like 5,000. It's a lot. Dragon Driver. Ooh. These animations are tight and they do a lot of damage. He has two attacks per turn, which is not too bad. 252. If I just wish well every turn and attack with everyone else, I'll probably do enough damage before I run out of MP, to be honest. Outer space. This is that big spell they have. Literally goes into space and then falls all the way down from space to hit me. Are you kidding me? It's not even that strong. Well, it's pretty fucking strong. It's the strongest attack it's used so far. I can outheal it with just healing, though. God, I'm doing 250 damage per like cast of that. Another outer space. I wonder if that counts as synergy. Remember the, all those items I got that I never used? Oh, he returned all my stats to normal. Ah, he returned all my sets to normal again. I'll have you know it's a radically different animation. I should have given some of those synergy crystals to Mia, although I can just use them on her, because Isaac is having a lot of free turns. So there's like no downside right now. Severe blow. That did a shit ton. That might always reduce your HP to 1, because I happen to live on 1. Oh, Garrett's dead. That's bad. That's only kind of bad, to be honest. Outer space, outer space, outer space. He has MP, and he came. Whoa, double outer space. That's a bit terrifying. That he can just do that. He can just double cast that fucking potent ass spell. I think I got this guy on the ropes. 
to be honest. Oh, I killed him. Yep. GG. I win. Peace out. Golden Sun is beaten. Oops, they fell into the Venus Lighthouse. They actually die there. They are just dead. It is established that they are dead in the sequel. So Taurus and Minardi are toast. This game ends with a shit ton of words. The sequel is worse about words than the original was. I forgot the original's not that bad. Did you finish them? Yep. We're stronger than them. <laughs> Who told us not to light the beacons? Was it the wise one? Oh shit. Well, well. Some lighthouse. Good thing that didn't kill anyone. No, Shabba. Can he really not just reach down and grab her? Shabba's face is kind of cute, I guess. It's just her bob. Her little hair bob. Bye, Felix, and thank you. No, Shabba! She's in the sequel. Everyone Felix has ever loved is dead. Woo! Right off the edge. Neither of them die. Oh, that's my one line. A series of exclamation points. How would that rescue someone? How can you jump off of something to rescue someone who fell off of it? Like, that doesn't make any sense. Imagine if you're on, like, a 50-story building and, like, someone fell off and it's like, I'll save you, and you jump off too. What's your plan? Yeah, I know. Felix becomes the main character and has to suddenly take a vow of silence. And I think Isaac is still quiet when you meet him. I completely forgot about Jenna. I think Garrett's related to Jenna. Yes. Ooh, I'm going to marry Jenna. Oops, we're still going to die. Just cast retreat, fucker. We don't see these characters for a while. Oops, I guess it got pulled back together. Well, that was weird. What's really weird is you actually follow around Jenna rather than Felix in the sequel, and yet Felix is still the silent protag. It's just like, oh, well, the Venus has to be the leader. But you start as Jenna. Remember that part right at the beginning of this game where Jenna's on your team and she actually has, like, she levels up and learns spells as she levels up? And then she just leaves your team and she's gone for the rest of the game? It's so strange that Jenna's on your team even briefly. And then Jenna is the fire adept of the sequel. It's Felix, Jenna, Peer er, Felix, Jenna, Sheba, and a new character. Piers. So all of them are MIA.
So Golden Sun 2 picks up almost exactly as this game leaves off, but you're following around Jenna. Immediately after the Venus Lighthouse is lit, it's like Jenna waiting at the bottom of the Venus Lighthouse with Kraden. And then finding Felix and Sheba jumped off the top. Sheba's like hyped up like she's some incredible fucking mage. What can she even do? How are they different? Ivan's the same kind of fucking guy. He can do everything Sheba can do, I promise. I know because I play the sequel. Yeah, that was actually a really cool twist. I wasn't expecting that. It just caught me off guard when it finally happened. Alright, so now I've regained control. I can actually still save my game. I'm nervous to save in that file for whatever reason. Alright, so we're gonna go, we're gonna try and find Lumeria, and we're gonna get on that boat. The ending of this game is getting on a boat. You get a boat pretty easy, pretty early in, um, uh, where do I go to actually get on the boat? This way? Yep, this door is open. You get on a boat pretty early in uh, the sequel, and it is the worst... It's the second worst instance I've ever seen in a JRPG of where the fuck do I go. It is really, really guilty of where the fuck do I go. You get a boat, and all of a sudden you can just visit every place in the game, but every single town you can visit has some gimmick that you can't do it yet, and you have to do every single town in a very specific order. And also finding all the towns is a pain because you've got to navigate these long ass rivers with your boat. It's just dra it's this it's all the same problems as Dragon Quest two and three with the boat. And like it's so and the things you actually have to do are fucking cryptic. There's like a town where like absolutely no one talks to you and what you have to do is find the leader of that town and show them like the shaman's rod. And there's like another town where it's like you have to use a reveal in like a weird spot or something like that. Like you don't realize that you're in the right town. It's like, oh, well, here's another town. I can't do anything. And it's like, no, you can do stuff. Lemuria. Right on. Golden Sun Staff. It kind of abruptly ends, I feel. Like, there's definitely, like, a big fight and a really important moment with the lighthouse being lit. Because there's four lighthouses and now two of them are lit. But, like, um, I always thought it was kind of strange that, um, uh, it just kind of ends, you know? But it's literally, this was one game, and they just, like, there was too much. So they just had to cut it in half. And then they made both halves a lot bigger to justify the fact that they cut it in half. Not that many people worked on this game. Bill Trinan. That's the guy who, um... Um... Isabel has a, has a crush on. Isabel the dog. Save your adventure? Sure.
So it lets you, it gives you a code to use in the sequel, but the sequel actually wasn't out for like another like two years or whatever. So you had a code you couldn't do anything with. Yep, there's a gr uh, little glimpse of the sequel. This is exactly where the sequel picks up. Jenna has all kinds of personality, that's why she's best girl. Oh hey, it's Alex. We only saw this guy once. Walk this way. Walk this way. Talk this way. Oh shit. Felix and Sheva washed up. They're alive. <laughs> you don't spend the entire the entire two years or whatever it was waiting to see if they lived. To be continued. I was really hype for Golden Sun 2. This game kind of blew me out of the water when I was a kid. And I had a friend who was even more obsessed with it than I was, and he made me obsessed with it because of how obsessed with it he was. It just was really exciting waiting for it. 2001. So now, there is... Well, where is it? Where actually is it? How do you do it? I don't want battle. No, I didn't mean it. Go back. I don't know how you get your code. It's a button combo. Yeah, they hide it from you. That's right. It's a button combo that the opening of Golden Sun 2 tells you. I guess I'll get Golden Sun 2 right now. Hold on. I don't know if I'll play it for a little while, but I might as well get it. The Lost Age. It's much longer. I don't know if it's actually longer. It probably isn't. It's much more annoying. I think it's worse. It's got a lot worse design. It's much more open world. This game is surprisingly linear. The cartridges for Golden Sun and Golden Sun The Lost Age are nearly identical, which is kind of stupid. Alright, here I am. That's probably not on screen, is it? Is that on screen? Nintendo? Yeah, it is. It's working. I just overlaid my one GBA emulator with the other one. They're directly on top of each other. 2001 to 2003. <gasps> I get to name Felix! I'm just going to call him Felix. Transfer data? Yes. So I can either use a link cable to hook up two GBAs. So you need two GBAs and a link cable to use this system. Or you can use a password. The password is a fucking pain. So if you you get a short password if you just want to transfer your levels and your gin. You get a moderately long cut password if you want to transfer your levels, your gin, and your character stats. And you get a giant one if you want to transfer your items and your coins. And when I say it, I mean it. Where does it tell you the password? It's so long. It's six pages of like this. It's six pages of this. It's six pages of fucking... Uh, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 50. It's six, six pages of 50 characters. It's just a big old fuck you if you don't own a link cable. Anyway, I don't know how to do it, but I know there is a way to um, use a link cable to transfer data between, or to connect two VBAs. I don't actually know how. Give me a second.
Alright, let me get this going. Download VB link. Yo, ah! That's my best art. <laughs> hey, yo, what up, guys? Alright, let me see if I understand this shit. Download VBA link. Unzip all to a folder. Start two or three or four VBA emulators all at once. Okay. Open the relevant, hold on. In Visual Boy Events Link, Options Emulator. Check. Uncheck pause when inactive window. It's already unchecked. These sounds. It did not find my save file. It also doesn't know my joypad. Why did it not find my save file? Save file's in the right place. Got the right name. Alright, this is going to take a little bit of working, I can tell. Let me see what I can do here. I want to maybe save GameShark Snapshot. Oh, I think I did it. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I got it working. Video 3x, just to be bigger. And now I open another one. This is off screen, but you guys will live. And this one, I just open up the uh, Lost Age. And now I just use the link. How do you actually do it with Golden Sun 1? What's the button combo? Oh, 
Hold down left, the R shoulder button, and the star button at the same time. That's so cryptic. Hold R, then left, and after that hit B. Okay, there we go. It added send. Link cable. Sending data. Transferring data. It's working. It's working. Oh, I got it. Hold on. Let me put it on screen. There's two visual advances. I don't know which one's which. Okay, there we go. I picked right. There it is. <laughs> I'm cursed. Seven. That's kind of cool. That worked. I got. That's the first time I've ever gotten the link cable system to work. I've never been able to link with GBA games before. Lord, Champion, Magister, and Paragon. I can rearrange them if I want to. I'm just going to rename him Isaac. Is that how you spell Isaac? Ages ago, or so the stories tell, the power of alchemy ruled over the world of Weird. This game starts with a fuck ton of words. Prologue from book one. It just tells you the outcome of the first game. And by outcome, I mean literally everything that happened in the first game. Camelot presents. Oh, hey, it's us in this one room. Turns out Felix has move. There are so many words. Hi, Alex. This scene has like all kinds of words, to be honest. Okay, not too bad. See, we got we got Jenna, level five, flame user, no usable synergy. She's got a wooden stick, one piece dress, padded gloves, and three herbs. And now I can save, so I'm done. <laughs> That's all I wanted to do, baby. Um, I'm just gonna make some uh, battery file, just you know, to have one to play this on my regular GBA instead of the link version. And I guess I'm done with this for now.